What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina and got another search and recovery video coming your way. Um, we're headed up the lake that's just up from Myers. Uh, it's called Lake Road Hiss and we're actually going all the way up to the stream part of it or where the creeks start feeding into it. We got to go look for two uh, shotguns. Uh, some friends of ours who are big duck hunters, they were out duck hunting and ended up flipping their boat. And so both shotguns, you know, the two guys lost their shotguns and a bunch of other hunting stuff. So we're going to go up here and see if we can um, help them locate it. <clears throat> we're assuming it's about 15, 20 foot of water. We do know that there's a current up there, but we don't know how strong. So based off what the current is, it's going to base up, you know, that's going to help us determine what type of search pattern to use. Uh, we're hoping they can pinpoint us and it'll be a relatively quick search, but you never know when it comes to search and recovery. So come along with us up there and we'll see how good we do. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, guys, so we just got back to the shop. We had a semi-successful search. We did end up finding one of the two shotguns that we were looking for. Um, we found some other smaller items that the duck hunters had actually lost out of their boat when it cat sized. But uh, all in all, it was a really good dive. We had a great time doing it, or a fun time doing it. Uh, conditions today was kind of iffy. It was about 15 foot of depth. We had about five to 10 foot of vis, which was phenomenal for where we were at. But we did have about a knot to a knot and a half current, which can make it difficult to do search patterns. So the pattern that we decided to go with was basically face the current and crawl ourselves up the riverbed into the current. And the reason we chose to do that is anytime you search in a current, if you create turbidity or anything and you're going with the current then all that that cloud of uh, mud and seal it's just going to be washed over your search area to where if you swim against the current anything that you create any extra turbidity is just going to be blown behind you so that was the tactic that we decided to go with and it actually worked out for our benefit but guys, I appreciate you coming on this dive. I want to give a quick shout out to um, Roy Atkins down in Ozark, Alabama. Guys, if you're in that area and you lose something in the water, give Roy a call. I'll actually post his card here for you. It's got his business uh, phone number on it. Give him a call. He pretty much does the same thing that we do up here in North Carolina as far as search and recovery. And I believe he travels up to 100 miles out. Uh, and he also does pool repair. So if you got a pool in that area that needs repair, give him a call. He'll help you out there too. But guys, if you like this video, smash that like button for me. Do me a big favor. Share this with all your friends. Put it on your Facebook page. Um, we want to get our videos a little bit more viewage than what they're actually getting now. So do me a big favor and share these videos. Once again, if you like it, hit that like button for me. But as always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys... We appreciate your business.